And if you have the angle theta power of 3, and we are going to calculate all this right here without calculator, of course. Well, I would recommend you guys to multiply by 180 degrees over pi first, so you can get it into degrees. And this is the same as 60 degrees. Now we'll use the reference triangle method. So I'm just going to draw the reference triangle. This is 60 degrees, and you have to remember the special triangle, 30, 60, 90, and the ratio of the sides is going to be 1, square root of 3, and 2. And now we're in business because sine of pi over 3 is just opposite of hypotenuse, or we can look at this as y over r. Do it that way, it's better for the future questions. All right, cosine of pi over 3 is x over r, which is 1 half, and then tangent is y over x, which is square root of 3 over 1, yeah? And then for all this, they are just the reciprocal of these guys, so cosecant is just going to be 2 over square root of 3, and the secant is just going to be 2 over 1, and the cotangent is going to be 1 over square root of 3, and we are done. Theta is equal to 5 pi over 4, and that's multiply this by 100 degrees over pi. It's easier to deal with degrees, and let me tell you this is going to be 225 degrees, and we will use the reference triangle method. So here is the deal. From here to here is 180 degrees already, but we need 45 degrees more, right? So this is our reference angle, and this is our reference triangle. This little angle here is 45 degrees, and you know the special right triangle here. It's going to give us 1, 1 square root of 2. But this is to the left, so it's negative. Likewise, this going down is also negative. And now we're in business. Sine is going to be y over r, which is negative 1 over square root of 2. Cosine is going to be x over r, which is negative 1 over square root of 2. Tangent is going to be y over x. Negative 1 over negative 1 is 1. And then all these guys are just the reciprocal of them. So we just get square root of 2 but over negative 1, so negative. Likewise, this is the same thing. And then 1 over 1 is still just 1. And we are done. Angle is negative 7 pi over 6, that's multiply this by 180 degrees over pi, and we will see that this is the same as negative 210 degrees. And again, we'll be using the reference triangle method, but this time though, the angle is negative, so we have to go clockwise. And you see from here to here is 180 degrees already, but we need 30 more, so here is the deal. This is a triangle that we have with a little angle 30 degrees right here, and the ratio of the sides is going to be 1 square root of 3 and 2, but from here to here is to the left, so we have to have negative right here. And now we're in business because sine is just going to be 1 y over r, namely 1 over 2, cosine is x over r, which will have negative square root of 3 over 2, and then tangent is going to be y over x, which is 1 over negative square root of 3. And now for all this, just do the reciprocal, right? So cosecant, we just get 2 over 1, which is 2. For secant, it's just going to be negative 2 over square root of 3. And lastly, we have just negative square root of 3 over 1, just like that. Done.